Christina aka Miss Strawberry Bacon and I'm here to do another demo review type video on this product. It's by Hard Candy and it's their CC Cream. And so first off I'm going to just talk about the product, what it promises, um, whether it delivers or not because I have already tried this product out for a few weeks now so I have a good idea of how it works. Um, whether what it says on the box, what it promises, whether it delivers or not, and then I'll go into the demonstration at the end. So first things first, like I said, this is from Hard Candy. It is their CC Cream, um, also called Correction Cream. It just, it goes along with the trends of like the BB creams, skin enhancers, skin correctors, things of that nature, but CC Creams, but at least what I've watch from other YouTubers is that CC creams are not going to be hardly any coverage, if any coverage at all. It's just there to make your skin look pretty without really doing any major cover-ups. But um, this CC cream comes with an SPF of 15 and I got it in dark, which is the darker color. All these colors, when I've seen them in swatches, they run really really dark they do have a tint to them but it's not like a major thing but pretty much this product um promises five results in one cream and they're on the front um it says color correct skin tone neutralizes undertone brightens complexion um even skin texture and it's oil free and on the back, it just goes along with like more in-depth of those reasonings. And pretty much I'm just going to go through the five things and kind of tell you whether or not it like really delivers that, at least in my personal experience. So the first one says, a color correct skin tone by blurring blemishes, discolorations, and dark spots. It don't do all that. It wanted to be medium coverage. It really wanted to be medium coverage, but still it it kind of fell short of medium and you're still if, you're, if you have acne scars like I do they're still going to show through put a powder foundation on top because that's going to definitely give you more coverage and help kind of conceal all those dark spots a little bit better it won't make them fully go away unless you put like a concealer or something but this is not going to cover up major dark spots or acne scars so that's the first like result it promises and for me it didn't deliver which i figured it wouldn't since it's a cc cream and i know they're supposed to be lighter coverage than bb creams second one is neutralizes undertone with unique light reflecting optical pearls okay so the neutralizing undertone thing when i read that i didn't really understand it because if you neutralize your undertone then your face and your body is automatically not going to match you. So why are we doing that? And for me, it does neutralize my undertone. I feel like it makes me look more neutral, but then my face and the rest of my body <laughs> doesn't match. So it's like my body has these yellow undertones and then my face is just brown with no undertone. So that was kind of awkward. So, but again, that can be corrected with some matching powder foundation on top and as far as the light reflecting optical pearls it does this product does have some shimmer it's not annoying in the least but what i found is if i use just like a teeny bit and kind of like a very sheer wash over my face you can really see the shimmer but when you're heavy handed the shimmer is there and it gives a really nice dewy effect to your skin but it's not annoying to the point like you look like Edward Cullen you know it's it's not that dramatic you see it but it looks for me it looks really really nice and natural and it, it just makes your skin look so amazeballs in my personal opinion I love how this makes my skin just look I just look so much more awake and alive and it's really really nice All right the third thing is brightens complexion bright brightens complexion with glowing airbrush finish like i said before it gives you a nice like awake kind of look and it does i do feel like it you know awakens your face brightens your face up so that's something i think it does deliver at least for me all right even skin texture for a smooth natural appearance if you take out all of the acne scars yes i do think it does a job taking care of the rest of the skin in between the acne scars to smooth them out to get them into a nice kind of um 
same <laughs> skin tone but it's still kind of awkward because your acne scars are still showing through and the last thing it promises is it's an oil-free cream moisturizes the skin all day without clogging pores and yes i will say that um i didn't get like well my skin is oily anyway i have oily skin so my skin is going to be oily no matter no matter what at the end of the day but definitely with this product it wasn't as oily as i thought it was going to be um it didn't clog my pores it did not break me out at all and i wore it for like every day for i think a week and a half um when i first got it because it was really really nice and it didn't irritate my skin it didn't have any issues with it whatsoever so i will say yes it's oil free it won't make you any more oily even though it does have like the light reflecting things that kind of make you look dewy it doesn't you know your face doesn't turn into like a major grease ball at the end of the day yeah you're gonna be oily but if you have oily skin we already know your face is going to be oily at the end of the day especially if you're like me trying it out not setting it with anything but for me but if you're worried about being oily just put a translucent powder or your powder foundation on top of this product and you will be good to go so for me this product even though it was dreadful at coverage i really liked how it just made the rest of my face look if that makes any sense it feels this product's kind of awkward because it does it promises one thing but then it does like another thing so yes it didn't provide me coverage but it still made my face look really nice so I don't know I feel like this may be like a hit or miss but I think my major thing is don't expect a lot of coverage um, oily skin people don't it's like don't worry about being oily it has the SPF so you are getting a little bit of sun protection so that's good um, the colors weren't a little bit dark so maybe this might be able to be used against a wider range of women um, it only has four colors like fair light medium and dark this is the box. I'm going to show you the product now and do my little demonstration and that'll be it for this video. So the product itself comes in a squeeze tube. It has its white packaging with a, a pink top. I thought this packaging was really cute and I really hate pink but I don't know. It's not like the whole thing isn't pink. You know just little splashes of pink here and there. So um it's kind of messy. This product is really, really watery. <laughs> it kind of got like everywhere. So it can get a little messy. Do not, if, once you open it, do not tip it over because it's so liquidy. The product will start coming out. And I would show you, but I don't want to make a mess, hence that's why it's all dirty around the ring. So let me close this up because I have just one other thing to say. When applying this product, I've found that using a brush like a flat top brush, kind of like an e.l.f. brush or what I'm going to be using my new favorite, this Real Techniques brush. I feel like a brush works better if you really want to try to get coverage out of this product because it works well with your hands rubbing in, but I feel like more product soaked into my hands than in my face. I don't know, this product is kind of like lotion. It's like once it touches some kind of skin, it just kind of soaks in. And so if you're using your hands, for me, it just, it really felt like I got more on my hands than I did on my face. So pretty much right now, what I'm going to show you how I like to apply it is I just dot it on my face and then buff it in with a brush. Again, a nice flat top brush, I feel like works better. So not too much product is going to be soaked into the brush and more product is going to go on your skin and you know give you some sort of cover so it pretty much so it looks like you actually put something on your face but anyway i'm going to get started with the demonstration before this video gets too long So I'll just try to I'll just try to evenly dot it all over my face, and I'm gonna take my new obsession, my Real Techniques brush, and just kind of blend everything in.
Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it. it. Like I said, I doubt you can tell any major difference. I don't know what the cameras could pick up, honestly, because I didn't really take too many pictures when I first tried this out, but um, I don't know. I just really like how this makes my skin look. It just, like I said, it just makes your skin look more like alive, even though it really didn't cover up anything. But, um, as far as wear time, I feel like this, even though it's so sheer, I feel like it lasts pretty much the whole day. Even when I go and take off my makeup, there's still traces of it left on my skin. So, I mean, it hangs in there. Um, if you manage to get some coverage out of, out of it, expect the coverage do to fade um, after a while. But I know... It's probably like not the best part, but for some reason I really, really like this. It's just, it's just nice and easy just to kind of like slap it on in the morning and kind of forget about it. Just the enhancement on your skin for me is worth um, keeping this product in my collection because even though it's not really giving me a lot of coverage, it just makes my skin, you know, like dewy without making it oily. And I've been always wanted to try something to make my face look like glowy and shimmery but afraid because usually luminous products on oily skin does not end well and it just ends in tragedy and it's sad but this is just really nice but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions about this product please leave them down below i hope you enjoyed it i think i just said that my brain is like forgetting everything but anyway I'm saying it again Really do hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you got some good information from it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!